Okay, we're gonna ask Will a couple questions about Allie to see how well he knows her. Are you ready? Yes. How's the audio? We're on a ferry it's packed good. with people. But good. We're, we're good, gonna, okay. We're gonna figure it out. Okay. okay. What is your earliest memory of Allie, or first encounter? First encounter was Aaron and Julian's apartment. Uh, I think it was November 2012, around Thanksgiving. Allie was still in school. Uh, she was invited over by Hannah, and we met that night and uh, had a fun time just hanging out with everybody. Might have gone into Boston that night. Um, what happened there? We danced a little bit together and had a few drinks and talked and it was very nice. <laughs> Real PG. It was. What was your, Trust me. <laughs> what was your first date and who came? First date. Oh, you know what it was? Um, we got margaritas at Margaritas Ooh. in Natick. Okay. And uh, it was a date, it was an official date. Of course I paid. I mean, there's no question okay. about that. That's an obvious question. Clown question. Thank you. And um, no, it was a really nice time. We were in Natick. We were by her place. Um, we got margaritas together. She had two margaritas. Well, I'm pretty sure. That was, that was big for her. <laughs> It was really nice. Crazy night. That's, yeah, okay. it's a good night. Uh, okay, who said I love you first and how? That was me. She wouldn't dare say first. She didn't want to ruffle any feathers or say too early that I knew that she wanted to say it. But I wanted to say it too. Um, and it was in Martha's Vineyard. Very nice telling occasion. Um, it was probably like the second summer that she came out to Martha's Vineyard. We've been dating for over a year at that point and actually dropped her off at the uh, airport. She was about to take off and I forgot that I wanted to say I love you and I didn't say it. And then I ran in and I said I love you. Basically like a scene from The Notebook. It was beautiful. Uh, we kissed. It was great. And from then on it's been perfect. Folks, <laughs> folks! We're on a ferry. Okay. What is Allie's drink of choice? <laughs> um, I think it's changed over the years. What? Give us it started with Doers and Water. Shout out to Grandy. <laughs> That's apparently, uh, it was a, a strategy for Allie to only have one. She didn't actually like the taste, but. Um, and usually it's uh, some type of rosé or some type of wine. Uh, she will frequently taste my IPAs and tell me that it's citrusy. And uh, she enjoys those too, but only a few sips. Um, <laughs> she dabbles in a few different things. Okay. Um, <clears throat> what would Allie want to eat for her last meal on earth? That's a great question. What does she want to eat? I mean, she pretty much eats the same thing for breakfast every day, like some type of healthy oatmeal with apples. No, no, that's probably not what she would want as her last meal. What does she love to eat? I mean, she loves Mexican food, so she might want some tacos, some vegetarian tacos or something along those lines. Um, she loves going to taco. <laughs> You know how you did on this question. Yeah, this question, but she likes a ton of different foods. And I mean, typically we go to Mexican food, so started at margaritas and we're still going strong <laughs> at the Mexican joints. Perfect. What is Allie's biggest pet peeve that you do? That I do? Well, the toilet seat is, I mean, it's the obvious one with the yeah. girls and guys. A little sprinkle maybe on the toilet seat. Oh, no. That's not. I don't know if that's too X-rated or R-rated, but Grandma's gonna, be. Grandma's gonna see this. I'm sorry, Grandma. It's not typical, but every once in a while. Um, I don't know if I don't take out the trash. If I don't hold up my end of the bargain, okay. which is I have a few chores to do. Um, I don't know. Coming home too late from work or something. Stuff like that. Okay. What 
What is Allie's favorite color? Is she gonna get mad at me if I don't know this? <laughs> Probably blue to match her eyes, her beautiful, beautiful eyes. Um, so I'd say, I'd say light blue. <laughs> I have no idea if that's, if that's true. Not royal. Royal blue. <laughs> deep, deep blue. <laughs> what is it that you would go out and get Allie at Whole Foods as like a treat? Or anywhere. Oh, what's a treat that she's like? A treat for her, probably some sort of chocolate, or she really likes ice cream, but it has to be non dairy ice cream. So we have a little Ben and Jerry's around the corner. So sometimes I'll pick her up some, uh, some ice cream from there. Um, she's, she's got a little bit of a sweet tooth sometimes. She loves popcorn. What about the gummy worms? Gummy worms, yes. Definitely gummy. Well, both of us. Both of us. But she loves smart food, the, uh, the popcorn too. She eats just like little um, handfuls of popcorn every once in a while. So Any of those. She snacks a lot throughout the day. Pretzels. She loves pretzels. You can't really go wrong with like different snack foods as long as they're not too bad for you. Yes. Okay. Who is better at keeping a secret? Definitely me. She's actually it's one of, not one of her strengths. <laughs> not one of her strengths. Okay. And I think she will readily admit that. <laughs> so, who is more likely to get sunburnt on your honeymoon? Definitely me again. You? More sunburn. More sunburn, yeah. Yeah, no, she she's gonna be protective oh, gonna be, yeah. of herself. Yeah. She doesn't like the sun at all. Uh, she'll be wearing a hat, sunglasses, kind of like our you know, long, long sleeve shirt. Long sleeve shirt. Uh, can't take too much sun. I'm the one who's a little bit more negligent about the sun, so I need to be careful. Put on that sunscreen that she gets me. Moisturizer slash sunscreen every morning. I do that. Who spends the most money? Probably me. Yeah. She's very cognizant of spending, which is a nice, very nice quality. Um, probably me. Uh, I can be a little bit more careless, but I think we're both pretty good about it. Pretty yeah. Yeah. Pretty frugal. Okay. She likes to go to Aldi's a lot. So. What's Aldi's? Yeah, it's, it's a cheap grocery store. Oh, yeah. That's the way to go. And she tells me about her deals that she gets at the grocery store very often. Or clothes shopping. Yeah. Things like that. Gotta go for the deal. Uh, who's more likely to be running late? Absolutely me. I'm the answer to all of these questions. <laughs> oh, God. I typically am, like, right on time. I don't like to show up to the... <laughs> I don't like to show up early for things because that's wasteful time. Yes. But God forbid. But I do probably show up a little bit late more often than I should. Okay. Yes. Uh, who's most likely to be in charge of the TV remote on a weeknight? Oh, that's her. Yeah. She watches a lot of television throughout the day while she works. It's her little thing in the background. She's watching it a lot. She knows how to control the remotes better than I can, and she frequently tells me about it. Uh, but she, yeah, she flips over to Netflix. Um, she'll flip back to her Bravo shows, uh, a lot of reality TV, a lot of the Food Channel, um, and then Netflix series. She's constantly watching something. What do you guys watch? Do you have like a show you're watching now? We have many, many shows. Like we switch off from one show to the next. We just finished Ozark. Uh, we're trying to find a new show. I, I can't get her into Game of Thrones. She can't do it. I've tried countless times and it hasn't worked, so I watch that on my own occasionally. But we do we do flip over from show to show. We've seen some good ones. Okay, what is Allie's coffee order? Just black. Straight, coffee. Straight up black coffee. 
How many drinks, cups does she drink? She drinks a fair amount. I do also drink a fair amount of coffee, like, daily. She probably have two cups every day. Uh, the funny thing that she does is has a little straw. She doesn't want to get it on her teeth, her beautiful teeth, so she does iced coffee every morning with the straw. Oh, wow. And um, every time she gets up earlier than me, every morning, makes coffee right away. And then she turns off the coffee pot. So every time that I'm ready to drink coffee, it's always cold. <laughs> she doesn't want to burn the coffee. Um, so it's always... So you drink iced coffee It's going to be iced coffee for me, too. Okay. <laughs> Good. Okay, what is Allie's guilty pleasure? Ah, that is a very wide open question. Guilty pleasure... I mean, it's gotta be like binging on these TV shows throughout the day. Yeah. She records like a million like reality shows that are all horrible, uh, desperate housewives of every city in America. Um, below Deck, you know, these like stupid shows, the ones, I mean, I've watched the occasional one with her, and it can be entertaining, but just the volume that she probably watches for a day, yeah. or even the, uh, I'm going to call you out here, but the uh, the bridal shows, like, who has the best wedding, it's like a reality yeah. show, she's been watching that for years, prior to us ever getting engaged, so I think that was a sign for me. Yes. A little eye opener. Always on TV. Yeah. She's gotten a lot of tips from uh, some different places, but probably these uh, funny shows okay. that she watches. Uh, your go to duet song. Duet. Um, well, we're working through our wedding song. She likes to listen to all those old songs from the 60s and 70s. Stand yes, by me, sing to, each other sing to each other, like some Billy Joel stuff. We went to the Billy Joel concert a little while back. Um, just old, like fun song, like the wedding type of songs. Again, the wedding theme is strong with her um, and me, but um, yeah, that, those types of songs. Okay. We're probably singing together. Okay. What is Allie's go to dance move when she's out? She likes to intimidate or imitate me and intimidate me. Yes. <laughs> With her dance moves. A lot of people do. <laughs> but she does imitate my dance moves to make fun of me. Uh, and everybody seems to get a laugh out of that. It's crazy. And what she does like to do, or she's trying to practice the dip. So we're trying to work on the oh. dip. So she's very intrigued with that. Okay. Asking me if I'm gonna be able to execute the dip. So gotta gotta practice that. Um, who's going to cry on the wedding day? Obviously, uh, Allie's mother. Probably first and foremost. Then Allie. And then I think I might shed a tear. So we'll, we'll see. I don't want to make any bold predictions here, but you never know when it's coming, and sometimes it just comes out. So, it's possible. Okay, last question. For all those moms and this has been fun. grandparents out there. Don't want to end this too soon. At uh, what age do you think you'll have kids? Oh, wow. Well, I was given, I don't want to say an ultimatum, but a deadline, a deadline. by Kim Murphy. Thank you, Kim. <laughs> Before Allie turns 30. So I think we have a couple of years. Okay. I don't know how far I can get up to that deadline before things start getting a little. She'll let you know. A little hot seat on me, but uh, or on us, but it won't, it won't be too long. But Hopefully. it won't be right away. Okay. Okay. Keep, keeping it pretty vague, but gonna try to adhere to that deadline from Kim Murphy.